Renowned Canadian-American actor, Glenn Ford graced the silver screen for five decades, appearing in over 100 films and television productions. Known for his remarkable range, Ford tackled various roles with ease, captivating audiences young and old. His illustrious career included standout performances in Gilda, The Blackboard Jungle, and Superman. Ford, a World War II veteran, earned recognition for his exceptional acting skills, garnering nominations like the Academy Award for his work in The Big Heat. This classic actor's life and career ended in 2006, leaving behind a rich tapestry of memorable films that continue to resonate today. Delve into this intriguing chapter of Hollywood's past as we explore Glenn Ford's indelible contributions to motion pictures. Furthermore, Glenn Ford was a Canadian-born actor who had a successful career both on Broadway and in Hollywood. He was born Gillen Samuel Newton Ford in Portneuf, Quebec City, Canada, on May 1, 1916. His family had Welsh roots, which influenced his early life. The actor's father was a nephew of Sir John and MacDonald, who served as Canada's first Prime Minister. This connection to Canadian history added a unique aspect to his background. Additionally, he had an ancestor who was Martin Van Buren, the eighth President of the United States. These familial ties not only shaped his upbringing, but also contributed to his persona as he ventured into the world of entertainment. As he grew older, his experiences and heritage would play a role in his performances and the characters he portrayed. In 1924, Glenn Ford's family made a significant move to California, settling in the coastal city of Santa Monica. It was during his high school years here that his passion for theater was ignited. This interest eventually led him to choose acting as a career path upon graduation. To make ends meet, the actor engaged in various jobs, such as cleaning bars and roofing, while honing his craft. He began working with a local theater group and soon started touring with professional West Coast stage companies. As his popularity grew, so did the size of the parts he played in the plays. His dedication and hard work gradually paid off, leading to more substantial roles and recognition in the acting world. In 1935, at the age of 19, Glenn Ford made his Broadway debut in Lillian Hellman's The Children's Hour. His performance established him as a well-known stage actor setting the stage for his transition to Hollywood. Ford's Hollywood career took off in 1939, and over the next five decades, he would make over 80 films. He became famous for portraying normal men in extraordinary circumstances, often appearing so natural on screen that it seemed as if he wasn't acting at all. The actor's versatility allowed him to showcase his abilities across a variety of genres, including drama films, film noir, comedy, and westerns. Some of his most memorable roles include the troubled soldier in Gilda, the small town sheriff in The Big Heat, and the titular character in The Sheepman. Later in his career, Glenn Ford became a regular performer on television, appearing in numerous shows and made-for-TV movies. Despite his success in both film and television, Ford remained humble and dedicated to his craft, always striving to deliver the best performance possible. Throughout his long and storied career, Glenn Ford left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. His ability to portray complex characters with nuance and depth continues to resonate with audiences today, making him a true classic of Hollywood's golden age. In 1937, a young and ambitious Glenn Ford, whose real name is reflected in the Canadian hometown of Glenford, aspired to make a name for himself in the film industry. Despite a screen test with 20th Century Fox that didn't pan out, he persevered and managed to secure a part in the Paramount musical Short Night in Manhattan. His first contract with Columbia Pictures came in 1939, marking the beginning of his feature film career. That same year, he made his debut in Heaven with a barbed wire fence, taking on the stage name Glenn Ford. This marked the start of a promising film career for the talented actor. In the early stages of Glenn Ford's career, he was often cast in low-budget films, which were not always critically acclaimed. However, the actor's talent usually shone through, earning him positive reviews. Some of these films included Men Without Souls, Babies for Sale, So Ends Our Night, Texas, Go West, Young Lady, and many others. Despite the lack of prestige associated with B-movies, Ford's performances were consistently praised. His ability to deliver compelling performances, even in less than stellar productions, was a testament to his skill and dedication. These films, while not always memorable, provided the actor with valuable experience and exposure in the industry. It's important to note that the quality of a film does not necessarily reflect the quality of an actor's performance. Ford's ability to rise above the limitations of these low-budget productions 
and still deliver noteworthy performances is a testament to his talent and professionalism. His work in these films serves as a reminder that even in less than ideal circumstances, an actor's dedication and skill can still shine through. Glenn Ford, the accomplished actor, was making a name for himself in Hollywood when his career was put on hold for military service during World War II. In 1939, he became a naturalized American citizen, and when the United States entered the war in 1942, he volunteered for duty with the Marine Corps Reserve. Initially, Ford worked as a motion picture technician, but his skills and dedication led to his promotion to sergeant. He was then assigned to the Public Relations Office of the Marine Headquarters Division. In 1992, the French government honored his service by awarding him the prestigious Legion of Honor Medal for his efforts in France during the war, where he helped those escaping from the Nazis. Unfortunately, Ford's time in the Marines was not without its challenges. He was eventually hospitalized with duodenal ulcers, which ultimately led to his medical discharge from the service in 1944. Despite the setback, Ford returned to his acting career with renewed vigor and went on to become one of Hollywood's most beloved leading men. After his discharge from the military, Glenn Ford returned to Hollywood to continue his acting career. His big break came in 1946 with two outstanding films. In Gilda, he starred opposite the stunning Rita Hayworth. While she received the majority of the praise, Ford's strong performance did not go unnoticed. In Gilda, Ford played the role of Johnny Farrell, a casino manager who becomes entangled in a love triangle with Gilda, played by Hayworth, and her wealthy husband. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Ford's portrayal of Farrell was praised for his subtlety and complexity. Later that same year, Ford starred in A Stolen Life, a romantic drama where he played a lighthouse keeper who falls in love with a woman, played by Betty Davis, who has a twin sister. The film was another success for Ford, and his performance was once again praised for his ability to convey emotion and depth. These two films established Ford as a leading man in Hollywood, and paved the way for a successful post-war career. He went on to star in many more films and television shows, becoming a beloved figure in the industry and a household name. Glenn Ford's rise to stardom began in earnest in the late 1930s. After a few small roles, he appeared in A Stolen Life with Betty Davis in 1946, and his popularity skyrocketed. This secured his place as a top-tier leading man in Hollywood for the next few years. During this time, Ford starred in a string of films, some of which were not of the highest quality. For example, he appeared in The Man from Colorado and The Mating of Millie in 1948, as well as The Doctor and The Girl in 1949. The start of the 1950s also saw a lack of improvement, with disappointing films such as Young Man with Ideas and Affair in Trinidad in 1952. Once again, Ford starred alongside Rita Hayworth in Affair in Trinidad, but the film failed to impress. Despite the mixed reception of some of his films, many of Ford's movies were successful at the box office. He continued to establish himself as a popular and respected actor, and his fan base remained strong. Ford's ability to captivate audiences with his performances was undeniable, and he became a fixture in Hollywood for decades to come. Throughout his career, Ford appeared in a variety of film genres, including westerns, dramas, and comedies. His talent and versatility allowed him to take on a wide range of roles, and he became known for his strong and commanding presence on screen. In conclusion, Glenn Ford's rise to stardom was marked by a series of successful films as well as a few disappointments. However, his ability to connect with audiences and his talent as an actor ensured his continued success in Hollywood for many years to come. In the 1950s, the career of actor Glenn Ford reached new heights. His exceptional performance in the film noir, The Big Heat in 1953 propelled him into the limelight. This classic crime drama directed by Fritz Lang gave Ford the opportunity to display his versatility as an actor, delivering a powerful portrayal of a determined detective out for justice. Just two years later, in 1955, Ford took on another challenging role in Blackboard Jungle, where he played a dedicated teacher trying to make a difference in a troubled inner-city school. Co-starring alongside Sidney Poitier, this film resonated with audiences and became a significant milestone in Ford's career. However, Ford was not limited to dramatic roles alone. In 1956, he demonstrated his comic prowess in the Tea House of the August Moon, where he shared the screen with Hollywood legend Marlon Brando. Their chemistry sizzled in this delightful comedy set against the backdrop of post-World War II Okinawa. 
Over the next 15 years, Ford continued to deliver top-notch performances in various films. Whether it was westerns like Cimarron or thrillers like Experiment in Terror, the actor proved time and again why he was considered one of the most accomplished performers of his generation. Moreover, the actor was a skilled horseman and marksman which greatly enhanced his western roles. Films like The Fastest Gun Alive in 1956 showcased his talent and charm, earning praise from both audiences and critics. In 1957, he starred in 31, presenting a captivating story that drew viewers in. The following year, his performance in Cowboy highlighted his ability to embody the rugged spirit of the West. Despite some earlier successes, the 1960s brought a mix of highs and lows in his filmography. However, he still delivered memorable performances in notable films. The remake of Cimarron in 1960 allowed him to shine again, demonstrating his enduring appeal. In 1963, the courtship of Eddie's father offered a different flavor, showcasing his ability to connect with audiences in a heartfelt story. Western films continue to be a significant part of his career, with The Rounders in 1965 providing a light-hearted yet engaging narrative. Later, Heaven with a Gun in 1969 showcased the darker side of his character, adding depth to his performances during this period. Each of these roles contributed to a diverse film career that, while sometimes uneven, always retained the actor's charm and skill. After a successful career in films spanning over three decades, actor Glenn Ford made a significant shift towards television during the 1970s. This period saw him become a familiar face in many popular series. Among them were Kids Count, where he played Sheriff Sardius Poe, the family Holvac with his lead role as John Michael Holvac, and Once an Eagle, where he took on the character of General Cortez. Despite his increased focus on the small screen, the actor didn't abandon cinema entirely. He left lasting impressions through cameos and smaller roles. One notable appearance was in the blockbuster hit Superman, where he portrayed Jonathan Kent, Superman's adoptive father. Another noteworthy part can be seen in Day of the Assassin. Although these performances served as reminders of his past glory, it was generally agreed upon that his heyday in the film industry had passed. Regardless, each project offered another chance to enjoy the craftsmanship of this seasoned professional. His work continued to resonate among audiences, solidifying his place as a respected figure in both film and television realms. As time marches forward, we look back fondly at this classic performer who graced our screens for so long. Glenn Ford, the actor known for his dashing looks and charming personality, was also well known for his personal life. He had a reputation as a ladies' man and was rumored to have romanced several actresses. Ford had a total of four marriages, all of which ended in divorce. His first wife was the talented dancer and actress Eleanor Powell. The couple met during Ford's military service at a war bond event, where Powell was already a famous star, having starred in top MGM musicals such as Born to Dance and Rosalie. They had one child together, Peter, and their marriage ended in divorce in 1959. Following his divorce from Powell, Ford went on to marry singer and TV actress Catherine Hayes in 1966. Their marriage lasted until 1969. He then married TV actress Cynthia Hayward in 1977, and their marriage ended in divorce in 1984. Ford's last marriage was to Jan Bose in 1993, but it lasted only one year. Despite his many marriages, Ford remained a private individual and kept his personal life out of the public eye as much as possible. Throughout his life, Ford was known for his charm and good looks, which earned him a reputation as a ladies' man. However, his personal life was marked by four marriages that ended in divorce, and he remained a private individual despite his fame. Glenn Ford, the actor, was no stranger to romantic connections during his long and successful career in Hollywood. He was linked to a number of famous actresses, including the legendary Betta Davis. Known for her striking beauty and powerful on-screen presence, Davis and Ford were rumored to have had a romantic connection that added to the allure of their on-screen pairing. Ford was also associated with Rita Hayworth, another iconic actress of the time. Their chemistry was undeniable, and their romantic connection only added to their on-screen magnetism. Together, they created some of the most memorable film moments of their time. In addition to Davis and Hayworth, Ford was also linked to Debbie Reynolds, a talented actress and singer who captured the hearts of audiences around the world. Their romantic connection was just one of many that Reynolds had during her career, but it remains noteworthy due to the stature of both actors. The actor's name was also linked with Hope Lang, Joan Crawford, Bridget Bardot, Linda Christian, Dina Shore, and Lorraine Day. 
Each of these actresses brought something unique to their respective roles, and their connections with Ford only added to their appeal. Despite the many romantic connections that Glenn Ford had throughout his career, he remained a private individual who kept his personal life separate from his professional one. This only added to his mystique and made him all the more intriguing to fans and industry insiders alike. Even today, his name is still synonymous with classic Hollywood glamour and style. Glenn Ford was an actor who left an enduring mark on Hollywood and the film industry. Known for his versatility, he brought his talent to life in a variety of roles, from leading men to supporting characters. Ford's breakout performances in films like Gilda and A Stolen Life showcased his ability to captivate audiences and earn critical acclaim. He continued to make his mark in classic films such as The Big Heat, The Blackboard Jungle, and Superman the Movie. In The Big Heat, Ford played a police detective seeking revenge against a crime boss, demonstrating his ability to portray complex characters with depth and emotion. In The Blackboard Jungle, he played a teacher at a tough inner city school, highlighting his versatility as an actor. And in Superman the Movie, he played Jonathan Kent, the adoptive father of Superman, bringing warmth and humanity to the role. Audiences were drawn to Ford's charisma and talent, making him a beloved figure in the film industry. His contributions to the world of film continue to be cherished by older adults who remember his classic performances. Despite the passage of time, Ford's impact on the film industry remains strong. His work resonates with audiences and serves as a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. Whether playing a leading man or a supporting character, Ford brought his unique style and charisma to every role leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. Beyond his successful film career, Glenn Ford led a life filled with diverse personal interests and experiences. Known for his exceptional horsemanship, he often displayed his skills in Western films, forming a seamless connection between his on-screen character and real-life passion. The actor was also admired for his charm and charisma, capturing the hearts of numerous leading ladies in Hollywood. His romantic links with various actresses were widely publicized, contributing to his reputation as a ladies' man. Adventure and excitement followed Ford wherever he went. From daring stunts on set to exploring off-camera opportunities, he consistently sought out new challenges and experiences, inspiring those around him with his zest for life. Aspiring actors looked up to Ford as a role model, studying his work and incorporating elements of his technique into their own performances. He left behind a lasting impact on both the film industry and the individuals who worked alongside him. Despite facing adversity, including the loss of loved ones and battles with illness, Ford remained resilient, maintaining his positive attitude and love for acting until the very end. In 2006, at the remarkable age of 90, the legendary actor passed away, leaving behind a vast collection of timeless films and cherished memories. His contributions continue to resonate today solidifying his status as one of Hollywood's most beloved and respected figures. Decades after his last performance, fans still celebrate his work, keeping his memory alive through screenings, discussions, and tributes. And so, Glenn Ford's legacy continues to thrive, enchanting audiences and shaping future generations of performers. Glenn Ford, a name synonymous with versatility and enduring talent, graced the silver screen for over five decades. Born Gwilin Samuel Newton Ford on May 1, 1916, in Quebec, Canada, he would become one of the most beloved actors in Hollywood history. His career took flight in the 1940s, with notable roles in Gilda and The Big Heat. In the latter, he played a detective seeking revenge against the mob, showcasing his ability to embody complex characters. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, Ford continued to captivate audiences. He starred in Blackboard Jungle, a film that tackled social issues, and The Tea House of the August Moon, a comedy that highlighted his range as an actor. In the 1970s, Ford transitioned to television, starring in the series Cades County. Even in his later years, he remained a prominent figure in the industry, never losing his charm or talent. Glenn Ford's legacy is not just about his roles, it's about his impact on the industry. He showed that actors could transcend genres and generations, leaving behind a body of work that continues to resonate today. Glenn Ford, born Gwilin Samuel Newton Ford on May 1, 1916, in Quebec, Canada, was the son of a railway conductor. His mother, a nurse, was of English and Irish descent. The family moved to Santa Monica, California, when Glenn was just eight years old. As a child, Ford was captivated by the world of theater and cinema. 
He would often skip school to watch matinee performances, a habit that sparked his interest in acting. However, it wasn't until much later that he received formal training in the craft. Ford's path to acting was influenced by a few key mentors. One of them was his high school drama teacher, whom he credited with encouraging his love for the stage. Another significant influence was his first wife, Eleanor Powell, a successful dancer and actress. She introduced him to many influential figures in the industry and helped him hone his skills. Despite his early exposure to acting, Ford's career didn't take off until his late 20s. He started out in small roles, gradually working his way up to leading parts. His breakthrough role came in 1946 with the film Gilda, where he starred alongside Rita Hayworth. This role catapulted him to stardom and solidified his place in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Ford remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to work in film and television until his retirement in the late 1990s. His legacy as a talented and versatile actor continues to resonate with audiences today. Ever since Glenn Ford was a young boy, he found himself drawn to the magic of storytelling. He would often accompany his mother to movie theaters in Santa Monica, where he fell in love with the enchanting worlds on the big screen. At the age of six, something extraordinary happened. He landed his first role in a school play. This experience ignited a spark within him, and he knew then that acting was his true calling. Driven by this newfound passion, Glenn began performing in local stage productions throughout his teenage years. His hard work paid off when he secured a contract with Columbia Pictures while still in his early 20s. From there, he climbed the ladder of success, eventually becoming one of Hollywood's most sought-after leading men during the golden age of cinema. One particular event played a significant role in solidifying Glenn's commitment to his craft. In 1946, he starred alongside Rita Hayworth in the classic film Noir Gilda. Their sizzling chemistry captivated audiences around the globe turning both actors into instant stars. For Glenn, working alongside such talent further fueled his determination to excel in every performance. Throughout his illustrious career, spanning over five decades, Glenn Ford continued to push boundaries and explore diverse roles. With each project, he left an indelible mark on both his audience and the industry, leaving behind a rich legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors today. And it all started with a little boy's fascination with stories brought to life on silver screens. Born Gwilin Samuel Newton Ford in Canada, 1916, he would face many obstacles on his journey to becoming Glenn Ford, the famous American actor. Financially struggling during the Great Depression, Ford's family moved to California, where he turned to acting to help support them. Rejection was common as Ford auditioned for role after role. Industry skeptics doubted his abilities due to his Canadian accent, which he worked tirelessly to mask. To improve, Ford studied phonetics and even hired a dialogue coach. His persistence paid off when he landed a contract with Columbia Pictures in 1940. However, World War II soon interrupted his blossoming career. Despite being exempt from military service because of his age, Ford enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. He served valiantly, but returned to Hollywood facing new doubts about his appeal to audiences. Once again, Ford proved doubters wrong by taking on diverse roles in various genres, westerns, film noirs, comedies, and dramas. Often playing ordinary men grappling with extraordinary circumstances, he brought authenticity and relatability to each character. With over 80 films under his belt, Glenn Ford left an indelible mark on American cinema. Glenn Ford's career was marked by several breakthrough moments. In 1940, he landed his first leading role in the film Heaven with a Barbed Wire Fence, which was a significant step in his career. This role showcased his acting skills and set the stage for future opportunities. One of his most notable performances was in the 1955 film Blackboard Jungle. His portrayal of a high school teacher in an inner city school was groundbreaking and earned him critical acclaim. The film also featured the hit song Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley and his Comets, which helped to popularize rock and roll music. In 1959, Ford took on the role of a troubled gunfighter in The Violent Men. His performance was praised for its complexity and depth, and the film was a commercial success. It was during this time that Ford became one of the top box office draws in Hollywood. Another significant moment in Ford's career was his performance in the 1962 film The Courtship of Eddie's Father. His portrayal of a widowed father was warmly received by audiences and critics alike. The film was a departure from his usual tough guy roles and showcased his versatility as an actor. Throughout his career, 
Ford worked with many notable directors and actors. Director Richard Quine, who worked with Ford on several films, including The Solid Gold Cadillac and Bell, Book, and Candle, praised Ford's professionalism and talent. Actor William Holden, who co-starred with Ford in The Proud and The Profane, described him as a fine actor and a good guy. Ford's career spanned over five decades, and his work continues to resonate with audiences today. His ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuances left a lasting impact on the film industry. Despite his passing in 2006, his legacy lives on through his memorable performances and contributions to cinema. Glenn Ford, the Canadian-born actor, had a unique artistic vision and process. He was known for his meticulous preparation and understated acting style. Ford once said, I've always felt that the best acting is underacting. This philosophy was reflected in his work, where he often portrayed characters with a quiet intensity. His personal experiences and worldview often found their way into his roles. For instance, his early life in Canada shaped his portrayal of Wyatt Earp in the 1949 film Cheyenne. Ford's understanding of the isolation and toughness of frontier life added depth to his performance. Ford's approach to acting was methodical and disciplined, he would immerse himself in his character, often spending hours alone to understand their motivations and emotions. This intense preparation allowed him to deliver nuanced performances that resonated with audiences. Despite his serious approach to his work, Ford was also known for his sense of humor on set. He believed that laughter helped to create a positive working environment and often shared jokes with his co-stars. In conclusion, Glenn Ford's artistic vision and process were marked by his disciplined preparation, understated acting style, and the incorporation of his personal experiences into his roles. His unique approach to acting has left a lasting impact on the film industry. Glenn Ford, a prominent figure in Hollywood's golden age, made a significant impact on the film industry. His career spanned over five decades, and he left an enduring legacy through his diverse roles and contributions to cinema. Ford's versatility was evident in his ability to excel in various genres, from film noir to westerns. In the 1946 film Gilda, he portrayed a casino owner, delivering a captivating performance alongside Rita Hayworth. Later, in The Big Heat, he played a vengeful cop, showcasing his range as an actor. In the western genre, Ford starred in classics like 310 to Yuma, where his portrayal of a determined sheriff resonated with audiences. His ability to embody complex characters, each with their own nuances, set him apart from his peers. Industry experts and fellow actors have praised Ford's influence on the craft. Actor Jeff Bridges, in an interview, cited Ford as an inspiration, stating, Glenn Ford had this quiet intensity that drew you in. He was a master of his craft. Ford's impact transcended generations, influencing storytelling techniques and acting styles. His contributions to the industry continue to be celebrated, and his work remains a testament to his lasting influence. As we delve deeper into the analysis of Glenn Ford's career, it becomes clear that his performances were not just about acting, they were about creating memorable experiences for audiences worldwide. Glenn Ford, known for his work in films like Gilda and Blackboard Jungle, had a rich personal life informed by his values and interests. Born Gwilin Samuel Newton Ford on May 1, 1916, in Canada, he moved to the United States early in his career. Ford was a family man who cherished his privacy. He married four times and had one son, Peter, from his first marriage. His devotion to his family extended beyond his immediate circle. He often spoke out against nuclear proliferation due to concerns for future generations. His love for horses led him to purchase a ranch in California where he enjoyed riding and raising them. This passion found its way onto the silver screen in westerns such as The Fastest Gun Alive. Philanthropy played a significant role in Ford's life. He supported various charities focusing on children and education. In particular, he dedicated much time and resources towards building schools in Mexico, believing every child deserved access to quality education regardless of location or economic status. Moreover, during World War II, Ford served as a naval officer, further shaping his humanitarian views. After the war, he became involved with organizations promoting peace and disarmament. Despite being a private individual, Ford left an indelible mark on Hollywood and society through his acting prowess and dedication to social issues close to his heart. His legacy continues to resonate today, inspiring new generations to engage with important societal topics. Glenn Ford, a talented actor, left a lasting impact on the film industry. 
Known for his work in classics like Gilda and Black or Jungle, he brought depth and authenticity to his roles. Even in his later years, he continued to act, appearing in TV shows and movies. For those hoping to follow in his footsteps, Ford would likely offer this advice, stay dedicated, be versatile, and keep learning. The industry is always evolving, and adaptability is key. He might also emphasize the importance of finding joy in the craft, as genuine passion tends to shine through in one's work. Ford's future contributions might have included mentoring young actors or directing. Given his long and successful career, he would have had much wisdom to share. His legacy serves as a reminder that a career in acting can be both rewarding and enduring. Glenn Ford, born Gwilin Samuel Newton Ford on May 1, 1916, in Quebec, Canada, was a man of passion and innovation who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. From his early days on the stage to his rise as a leading man in Hollywood, Ford's career spanned over five decades and included over 100 film and television appearances. Ford's journey began in earnest when he moved to the United States in his early 20s. He started out as a radio actor and soon transitioned to the stage where he honed his craft and developed his unique style. In the 1940s, Ford made the leap to the big screen and it wasn't long before he became a household name. Throughout his career, Ford was known for his versatility and his ability to take on a wide range of roles. From his breakout performance in Gilda to his iconic turn as the titular character in Black War Jungle, Ford brought a sense of authenticity and intensity to every role he played. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout his career, Ford never gave up. He continued to push himself and take on new challenges, even when it meant stepping outside of his comfort zone. His perseverance and dedication to his craft earned him a place among the legends of Hollywood. Today, Glenn Ford's legacy lives on. His performances continue to captivate audiences around the world, and his impact on the entertainment industry is still felt to this day. Ford's story is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance, and a reminder that with hard work and determination, anything is possible. Let's take a moment to remember the late Glenn Ford, a talented actor who graced both stage and screen. With a career spanning over five decades, he left behind an impressive body of work. Among his most memorable roles was that of Jonathan Kent in the classic film Superman. His portrayal of Pia Kent brought warmth and depth to the character, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. In addition, Ford starred alongside Rita Hayworth in the romantic drama Gilda, where they shared electrifying chemistry. Throughout his career, Glenn Ford demonstrated remarkable versatility. From westerns like The Fastest Gun Alive to thrillers such as Experiment in Terror, he captivated viewers with each performance. Despite being known for his tough guy image, Ford also showcased his comedic timing in films like The Tea House of the August Moon. Now it's your turn. We would love to hear about which Glenn Ford performances resonated with you. Share your favorite memories and moments in the comments below. Your insights help create engaging conversations around our beloved artists' lives and legacies. As always, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed our tribute to Glenn Ford. And please consider sharing this post with friends who might appreciate reliving some fond cinematic memories. Lastly, we invite you to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories about the creators who shaped the entertainment.